Today I want to show with you uh, how to set up a new account on eBay in 2020. Last time I showed you exactly what is all the dropshipping is all about and I think you guys understand what I'm saying. And now we're gonna start sitting on my computer, set my account up, the new account with a new payment. Actually, I borrow it from my mother, so uh, maybe it take no risk, I guess. And I try to find some winning product for you guys also step by step, how to set up an account, how to find winning products and put it all together. It's my account. When you go to here, yeah, I just made it yesterday and we need to go to summary, go to account. Yeah, the site preferences. From the selling preferences, the sell your item form or listing. So use the app stock option. Just basically mean when your items is sold so down. For example, like three available and now they just have zero. So it means they can resell again even they are of stock, but they still active. So need to take this one. So after that, you can just update the quantity. Go to, after that, you go to the combine payment. Let me see where is it. Okay, that's, I didn't see the compile payment. So here, unpaid item assistant, just edit. Take yes, real time, real time, automatically release the item. That's what we're looking for. Yes, automatically for the given definitions. No, okay. So click save. Go to the return preferences, okay. If you want to drop ship from Amazon, you can take the RMA number. So I will refresh again on the have turn on. Sorry. Oh, where is it? Come back. Let me explain a little bit for the return preferences. Okay, here. Basically, when you your customer want to pay the item back, you just need to go. If you drop from Amazon, you can take the label from there and you send to your customer. And this is 99% works. After that, you go to the personal information. Personal information. Yeah. And that is here your account type. You can choose this one and switch account to the business because you can get more benefit. Okay. So here you can write in your business name and change to your business account. Normally they will take the call from you. So I do not do it right now. It's your name, your password, your secret questions. I don't know anything and your email. From here, actually you can um, change your, oh God. address your phone number and where you're staying right now 
So I sign up as United States. This one, this one. Okay, update. Yeah, here this address. Sorry, my internet today is so down. Okay, now you can go to your seller account. The seller account does say that you actually need to pay the fee every month. So if they have any fee from Amazon, they take percentage from you, you need to pay it and then you can do it maybe like two weeks every two weeks that's i recommend and for automatic payment method so you need to put your paypal or credit card continue with paypal okay in German I don't know what happened okay so you just put your paper account or credit accounts it's up to you you can make one-time payment you can use paper or your credit card to chart here yeah to pay the fee for eBay Now we go to the listing. Sorry, guys. So here is they said how many items remaining in May. That's how many items you can sell it and how many money. I don't know why that that's I have zero in my account, but normally they have 1,000 for star, star term. And maybe you need to, the request limit increase and you on the phone with them, they will ask you for maybe number or something like this. So that is guys, this is all about how you set up the account for dropshipping at a beginner. And I hope you guys like this video. I will do the part 2, part 3 for finding the winning products and how to list the item on eBay. So keep watching.